Here in Wisconsin, candidates are already lining up to get on the April ballot, and that includes a special election for a suburban Milwaukee Senate district. And that's a seat which will determine whether Republicans have a supermajority in that chamber. Political reporter Will Keneally joins us with more. Will? So State Representative Janelle Branch has thrown her hat into the ring for that open seat, which will likely change the focus of the race, as she is well known among Republicans for her work criticizing and investigating the results of the 2020 election. And she's already running in against at least one other Republican, the state rep from a neighboring district, Dan Canodal. UW-Milwaukee political expert Mordecai Lee says it could be a contentious primary between the two. I think this is a real race. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a Donnybrook. Uh, I think it's going to be no holds barred, knockdown, drag out fight. I wouldn't be surprised if this race sets a record for how much is spent in a Republican primary for state Senate. And Lee says that could even be a million dollars. So that's on the Republican side, but we don't quite know who the Democrat will be to replace retiring or who will run to replace retiring Senator there, Alberta Darling. The Democratic rep from the area declined uh, to run, leaving that field empty of what Lee considers to be top tier candidates. And he added that we will see an interesting effect next spring because that race is the only partisan race on the ballot. We could see Democrats cross over and vote in that Republican primary.